So um, at the hunting parties, they would, um, like, there would be, they'd have all these expendable children outside in the woods, and usually they have holding grounds, um, like a tunnel system or something underground where they hold the kids in cages until the time of the hunt. And the hunt usually happens later, you know, once it's dark outside. And so what they'll do is they kind of like, if um, like they'll kind of make a parameter, which is pretty large of these woods and they'll station the different elite people around the perimeter. And then when they give the go, you know, they release the kids and the kids are told just to, to run, to hide. Um, and that's when the elite will go through the woods and start hunting for them. Um, when they catch them, uh, a lot of times they will first sexually abuse them and then they'll kill them. Um, so not, not everybody will get killed in that situation. Um, if they don't, then they're used for other hunts, but, you know, there were kids that I saw who, you know, were really good survivors and, um, they would just continue, continuously have to relive this trauma, you know, um, so, uh, there was kind of like, so those were the kids on the outside. And then because we were hierarchy kids, we were on the inside and so on the inside, usually in the house or the lodge, um, you would have the older men who were too old. I, sometimes it did include women, but they were too old to be out in the woods hunting for the kids. So they brought everything indoors for those individuals. And those individuals were not allowed to kill, but they were allowed to capture and rape um, the hierarchy children. So, you know, once the, you know, the signal was given that the hunt was on, you know, you were just trying to escape, hide and not be found. And sometimes they would make it seem, you know, for the kids, like it was a hide and seek game. So um, at the 